So welcome again to the Fit and Fabulous podcast with your co-host Greg Fearon. And Gillian Davis. How are you doing everyone? Hope you're well. How's it going? Corona hit. Not. <laughs> <laughs> My Wi-Fi's got more problems than the coronavirus. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So I hope you're well, everybody. Um, as always, we would love to hear what your thoughts are around our podcast episode. So do, if you are listening on iTunes, do leave us a little review. Uh, also as well, it will really help us get more visibility um, and raise the profile of the podcast. So I'm going <laughs> to, that's really what it does. So there's no no point covering that and there's no sugarcoating, is there, Greg? Honestly, is the best policy always. <laughs> yeah, totally. Totally. So, um, but absolutely, we'd love to have your feedback anyway. It'd be much appreciated. And also as well, if you ever feel like, you know, you give us a shout out on social media too. You can find us on Instagram, Facebook, usual places. Yeah. Yeah, man. Not right there. Well, that's every, we are everywhere. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm like one of those American so, gospel preachers, don't I? Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Uh, right. Praise be. Right. Well, okay. I, I heard, I heard, I heard, I heard. <laughs> Right, let's not, let's not get to, you can't say, you can't talk about religion on, on these sort of things. You have to be like, yeah. Okay, oh, I have no idea. No, I, I, I don't care either. <laughs> no, I know. We are definitely not here to talk about religion. That is for certain. So, we thought, Amidst the current situation that everybody is facing, we thought we'd put together this week's podcast and answer some. We're getting some questions and people are wondering around how they can just keep on top their, of their fitness game whilst they're maybe restricting the, the amount of times that they're going outside. You know, they're, they're, they're not comfortable by going to the gyms anymore um, and what you can do in that. So, which is great. You know, I, I love the attitude of, of most people is to, how can I keep going despite everything that's going on? How can I keep doing the things that make me feel good? That's massive. Yep. That's a huge attitude there. Yeah, that's awesome. I think people need to, this is the, this is the time where people need to not batten down the hatches and stop yeah. everything that makes you feel good, makes you happy, makes you healthy. Mm -hmm. um, this is a perfect opportunity to carry on. Just get on with shit. Excuse me, language. Get on with shit, people. Just get on with stuff. Yeah, so, yeah. definitely. And uh, not only that, you know, it's one key factor, you know, moving and keeping your body active, keeping yourself active. Obviously, if you're healthy and, and fit and strong to do so, then yeah, you know, keep doing that there. It's just gonna, one, keep your mental health, keep your brain in check, just help you manage the emotions that may be flying around. It's it's a very up and down situation that we find ourselves in yeah. and all sorts of, you know, getting bombarded from all directions, aren't we really, about the rights and wrongs and who's yeah. the latest expert and something. I feel like if I see more Boris or Trump again, I'm going <laughs> to... It's mental. I keep seeing them. It's like stereo vision. So, yeah. yeah. Keep or, calm and work out, people. Keep calm and work <laughs> Yeah. People are taking on Trump's expert level of, I'm really into this stuff. <laughs> the, the, the Trump version is, I'm going to hand over to Mike Pence. Yeah. He's going to sort it all out. Bye. <laughs> yeah, Brilliant. Totally. All right. So, so, so how to keep people on track. Yeah. So we're going to do this podcast episode. It's just how to just stay fit, keep yourself fit sit once you're at home um, in the midst of the Corona chaos. So, and that's what we're going to crack into today. So, do you want to fire away, Greg? Do you want to start? Oh, am I going first? Oh, okay. Oh, cool. or do you want me to go first? No, no, no. I'll go first. I'll go okay. first. Yeah. Okay. The floor okay, is yours. So, <laughs> so, number one, people. Um, for me, a big one that I see people doing a lot of on Instagram and YouTube is all these isolation exercises. It's like, yeah, get a booty pump. And, you know, when, if time is precious and your dog is trying to jump on your back while you're doing your exercise, I would spend my time doing something much more important than just doing glute bridges all the time or just trying to do like single leg raises. Um, so yeah, go easy on the isolation stuff. I'd go as far as to say, do the isolation stuff if you really want to at the end of your workout, not at the beginning. Because mm -hmm. um, then you're not fatiguing that muscle group that you need for something else. And 
that it takes time to really get a good pump and all that stuff with those kind of things. And I think your time is better served going for something else, which you're going to tell them, tell people what to do. Yeah, now. absolutely. And I think just before we move on that, you know, there might be a little bit of, a bit of worry that all your progress is going to go to waste if you're not keeping to your training plan in the gym. And just to let you know, you know, if you, it depends where you got to on your training plan in the gym as well. You know, if you've got to a very, fairly different or a fairly high level of weights and good volume, then yeah, okay. If you haven't got the same weights at home, obviously there's going to be, um, you're going to lose some of those gains basically that you've had. So, but that's not to say you'll lose it all. Obviously we can do stuff at home, strength workouts, um, just to keep you focused. And the, and the same principles do apply though, whether it's in the gym or at home do look at what we call the four main compound movements and why they're called compound movements because they basically recruit many, many of the muscles. So we use lots of muscle groups whenever we do these moves. And the main one everyone knows is the squats. So we, and again, you're using what a lot of the big major muscle groups when you're doing squats and um, hip hinges. So things like deadlifts you're going to be using, um, and push and pull exercises. So your push and exercise, things like chest press, or, you know, you're doing, not chest press, because that'll be in the gym, <laughs> you're doing push ups. <laughs> I need to switch my own head. <laughs> so doing push ups, or even doing rows as well. That's your pull exercises, or maybe you've got a pull up bar that you can stick across your doorway as well. So get some pull ups going. There you go. And if you can crack and use them and, do those exercises and um, then you will really um, just keep a lot of keep your fitness keep your strength there so um, and really help kind of manage your your training so awesome so number one just to recap for people don't go easy on the isolation stuff number mm -hmm. two big muscle groups compound movements yeah. I even I sometimes say to people movements over muscles yeah is a good way to look at it I think that's a, an awesome way to put it. So, yeah. Okay. So number three for me, go easy on the plyometric stuff. <laughs> yeah. So you're going to see all these Instagram workouts where they jump in and spin in and all the rest of it. And all of a sudden burpees become like the de facto workout exercise. Um, but if you struggle with knee issues or ankle issues or even back problems, burpees are not going to be good for you. Um, there are a couple of ways I'm going to kind of give some secrets away at the end of this about how to get that intensity, mm -hmm. uh, but you don't need to do burpees. So go easy on the jumping stuff. Um, obviously from the injury perspective and risk, especially if you're, you know, for the clients that we train, you know, let's say lady in her forties who hasn't trained for a while to start doing burpees is not going to be the best one for her. So, um, I would suggest stay away from the plyometric stuff is mm -hmm. my big one mm -hmm. and plus you don't want to go crashing through your floor if you live in a flat <laughs> yeah. that's right yeah your neighbor may not appreciate the noise so if you jumping around your living room so um and as well you know it could be the time that you may just invest in some equipment that you can do at home so you know, things like getting resistant bands are really great. So the, the loop bands and the big loop bands, and don't mean the little ones, but the bigger ones are, are good for, for being really versatile and very portable as well. So mm -hmm. you can easily take them outside with you. Um, if you can get yourself a TRX or a KO8 and um, suspension trainers, yeah, perfect as well. So they are yeah, pretty cheap. They're pretty cheap, actually. Yeah. Well, yeah. The TRX versions ones are quite expensive, but... There's other ones that you can get that are a little bit more. Little bit yeah, more. yeah, I think that, yeah, there's different, they're kind of the, the top branded versions, if you like. Yeah. But, yeah, but there's lots of different versions. So, yeah, they are ones that suit different budgets as well. Um, and, and those sorts of equipment, so, you know, you don't need an awful lot, really. You could really just, those two bits of equipment are probably all that you would need if you wanted to. Um, yeah. Certainly a resistant band gives you lots of options yeah. um, to do it. Kettlebells. Kettlebells, yeah, I do like my kettlebells. So, but not. I'm not talking about. I'm not talking about doing like kettlebell curls and things like that. There, I'm like no kettlebell curls. Proper like kettlebell training. 
<laughs> so full on kettlebell training. So you want to be getting like kettlebells that are at least eight kilos plus. I'm not talking about using those two kilo, four kilo kettlebells, just instead of Especially when your bag is heavier than yeah. the kettlebell. I see it all the time, ladies. Like you got you walk, you have this big heavy bag, right? You've got a bag of your laptop in it, bag with this in it. It looks like Hermione's bag from Harry Potter. Yeah. You take yourself out. And then you go and get this little kettlebell. It's like that big. <laughs> yeah. It's a paper What's that about? <laughs> Absolutely. So the kettle, kettle, kettlebells are brilliant. And for doing a home workout, it's really, really good for conditioning as well. So mm-hmm. um, if you get a really good kettlebell workout going, definitely working on some snatches, some pulls, clean, clean and presses. Brilliant. Fine yeah. workout. Windmills, oh, so many. Yeah, yeah, really gassy out in no time, couldn't it? So yeah, we could geek, we could geek out on this one. <laughs> yeah, kettlebell training. I do yeah. love kettlebells, and I don't do it enough. And then when I do do it, I'm like, oh, yeah, God, I miss that. Yeah, 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 yeah definitely. I've, I've actually just written my own program for the month, and kettlebells. Are, there's a kettlebell conditioning. It's kind of kettlebell stroke body weight conditioning session in in there. So I'll let you know when I do it. I'm yeah, a bit scared. A bit scared. Cool, cool, awesome. Um, is that what you were, was that number four you were up to? I'm not very good. Yeah, I think number things. four for me now. I'm number four. I think, no, no, it's, no, it's me now, isn't it? Yeah. You, yeah. Okay, cool. So that was the equipment, next, guys. Yeah, sorry. I'm yeah, it's so equipment. So equipment, I think, is massively important. Um, here's a big one though: intensity. So often, I think that there's two challenges here of intensity. One is people push themselves and workouts that are a little bit too hard. But by the same token, workouts are a little bit too too easy. Um, You have the ability to manage that. So there is something called the perceived rate of exertion that I think people should try and pay attention to. Number one is like you're lying in your bed playing Angry Birds on your phone or Candy Mm. Crush. Number 10 is, oh my God, call an ambulance now. You want to keep your workouts between the six to eight for most people. Mm-hmm. so it should leave you a bit sweaty um you don't necessarily have to be sore from it but i think people need to manage that intensity and aim for that six seven or eight level of exercises to um ensure they get a decent workout um if you're working at a 10 level there is a good chance the workout's too hard and you're just going too mental and i would dial it back a little bit yeah, yeah. so that's my that's number four, the fourth tip. Yeah, absolutely. And I think as well for, for me, number five. So when we talk about strength training to actually increase strength, you know, we've got to be overloading the muscles to, to get that extra strength gain. So what we're doing is we're putting the muscle under extra strength or extra stress and forcing it to adapt basically. And, and, and that's how we gain more muscle tissue. We get more strength from that. Um, and being able to do that without having all the extra heavy weights can be a bit oh, how do I do that at home? But there are like other ways to do it. So you may like first of all start off with just looking at reps and how many reps you're doing per exercise. Again, adding the resistance bands will increase that resistance a little bit for you. But also as well, you can slow down the tempo of the exercises. So put more what we call time under tension. Um, just slowing down. For example, if I talk about a push-up, we could talk about slowing down the lowering part of a push-up and then increasing it. So what we're doing there is actually forcing the muscle to work harder for a slower time. What that will do is just means that you'll use more muscles basically to actually get that exercise and you'll just develop or you'll just bring in more muscle. To, mm-hmm. as part of that exercise instead of just rushing through that lowering phase so um to give it its technical term we call that the eccentric phase but that lowering phase Woo. whoa big awesome words tip. awesome tip eccentric love it yeah so yeah eccentric. so just eccentric. slowing the tempo down and just putting your muscles under a bit more tension what they call time under tension so and that's what we do in yoga as well and that's that's how that can develop strength there as well so Awesome. My You're right. Just walked in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gone again. Oh damn it! I thought I was gonna say hello. Oh yeah, good meet him. Yeah, shut up. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Where are we now? What number are we on now? Five. That was six. five. That's five. Six. So number six. Okay. Cool. 
Um, so here's a big one for me on that uh, same tip to, to increase your intensity. Think about angles, right? So if you can already do a press up, as an example, then you might want to try doing your press ups with your arms a bit wider, with your arms a little bit narrower. So that way you can hit a muscle group in a slightly different way than you used to. Mm -hmm. um, you could also elevate your press ups, um, or you can do an incline, for example, with your feet up, feet on your hands on the floor. So if you're if you're trying to work, make an exercise harder, think about the principles. It's kind of physics, really. Mm -hmm. well, I was rubbish at physics at school. <laughs> Awful. But look at where you're putting the weight. So it's like a press up incline. Yeah. If you put the weight all down on the hands yeah. on the floor. It's going to be a lot harder. Um, or if you get really deep, you can start doing inverted press-ups. Oh, handstand press-ups, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tasty, tasty. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, look at that. Look at things like hand placement, foot placement um, are also massive ways to easily get a slightly different stimulus in a workout. Yeah. Yeah, that's Absolutely. for me. Cool. Yeah, absolutely. Keep the variations there, even <gasps> diamond protein, just Oh, right together. <laughs> yes. It's up a body day tomorrow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> My chest just got a little bit sore from that, I think. <laughs> cool. And one thing as well, guys, you know, if it's not really a workout, you know, that per se that you want to do, just maybe you're someone who's never been able to crack a full body push up before. And this could be the perfect time for you to work on that. Mm. So, just following on from my previous point about you know slower and slowing <laughs> slowing down the 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 push up and <laughs> get more time oh, okay, what's going on you know if you wanted to you could break down the whole push up and uh, and just work on those sorts of on that particular phase so on that portion of of the push up you know on that just lowering because and work on that a few times work on pushing yourself off the ground a few times, work on just holding yourself in a high plank. Yeah. Um, you know, so build up those elements of a push up and then try to bring it all together to go into a full body push up. If you've never mastered one before. So that's definitely one little masterclass that I've done before, but I might do an updated version. I think it's time to do an updated version. Nice. Master. Nice. So I've okay. done that before. Like I've had that, you know, and just hand release push ups. So go from the ground. If you've got to use your knees to push you up just to give you a little leverage, then do that, you know, and gradually you will you will build it up. So but I think a lot of the times we're just doing push ups that we just focus on just you know, it's almost like the panic, I can't get myself off the ground again. It's, so it's almost like this whole panic in our head going down to the ground, knowing that you've totally convinced yourself that you're never gonna get off the ground again. So Yeah. So, so break it down nice oh my next one it's my turn do you, you have another one <laughs> yeah. listen i could talk about this stuff all day yeah, yeah. <laughs> um sorry i'm gonna resist sorry. Um, really weird point people i can't click with my right hand properly if i can click with my left Whoa. but i'm right-handed weird <laughs> anyway um to challenge yourself so i think sometimes there's a chance where you could um i like to sometimes say to people set a timer for 20 minutes give them four to five work exercises and see how how many of those how many rounds of that circuit you can do in that time then it gives you something to aim for um yeah i think that's a really easy way to do it just to give yourself challenges and then write them down put them on a board or something say right today i've done four rounds of that circuit in the 20 minutes now my goal is to get five five times so yeah that's a real good that's a really easy way to do it yeah i'm raps are good good just to challenge yourself so is that crossfit kind of yeah yeah it's crossfit and i know yeah yeah well i had an argument with someone who said that the workout i put together this workout and they were like it's not like crossfit and i was like well tell me what is crossfit i'll wait <laughs> circuit right no yeah. it's not circuit i'm like Mm. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. Shut up. Um, cool. Uh, any more for any more? Yeah. So, um, and one thing just to remember as well is not to just get lost in the fact that you're going to put on weight um, or because you're not working out in the gym. So, 
you know, again, keep keep the chaos level to a minimum here. <laughs> um, so one thing with strength training, obviously, it's there to, it's more about gaining muscle strength. It's more about getting more muscle tissue. You know, it's it's all around about stimulating your muscles. It's not there about losing weight. It's not, you know, you'll manage that through your diet. If you're someone who's going through a fat loss um, transformation, obviously your diet's going to have a huge impact. So you should just manage your diet based on how active you actually are. How much are you moving? Again, go back to maybe your steps um, and how much you're getting out and about. So just remember the strength training is all around about stimulating just your muscles and getting them to work more. Um, it's not about burning fat. So. Yes. Totally, totally agree. Yeah, I think we, well, we've, we've run about this before, so I'm not going to label the point. Yeah. yeah. Fat loss for we diet people. Absolutely. Cool. I've got one more, I think. So do I. Technique, people. Technique is just as important whether you're in the gym, in a park, at home, but really make sure your technique, and when you dial in your technique, the actual exercise becomes more effective, even the simple ones, like planks and stuff. They all become better if your technique is on point. Mm -hmm. So I think the big one for most people is um, to, yeah, to really go in and redial in the technique and don't worry so much. If you can't do a certain exercise because it's too hard, find a regression. You don't always have to progress. Sometimes I think a regression done properly is way better than some funky variation that actually you butcher um, mm -hmm. is a big one for me. Absolutely. You know, if you're someone who can't do, go back to using push-ups again, everyone knows what it is. So if you can't do an incline, if you can't do push-ups on the ground, if you can't, if you can only do them on the knees, if you can only do them on a tabletop, maybe you can only do push-ups against the wall. You know, that's, that's the degree of where you can still do a push-up. That's, you know, yeah. that's down to you. you it's never, a, I can't do anything. There's no point. There's always a way. There's always, always something you can. <laughs> always a way. Yeah, that's well. something you can do, absolutely. But that wasn't my last point. I think we're on point 10 now. I'm going to guess that we're on point 10. Yeah, <laughs> Well, one thing that we can do is not to forget about warming up and not to forget about mobility as well, guys, when doing this. So it's brilliant, you know, be at home and doing workouts, doing lunges, squats, you know, your push-ups, your pull-ups. But remember that you to keep mobility in there as well. So work on just keeping your hips mobile, keeping your shoulders mobile. Um, and all the other joints as well so put yourself through um a good mobility routine even if you're not just going to train that day just still do it to keep your body ticking over particularly if you're maybe not moving and getting out about as much you know it would really help just to keep your joints fluid and joint health at the end of the day it's it's all part of the health so um, yeah and keep you in tip-top condition so. no, do that Definitely, I'll be doing some animal flows and mm, yeah, yeah. And stuff. Yeah, just to keep things ticking Greg's over. Greg's going to be bear crawling all over his house. <laughs> yeah, bear crawls, crab crawls, <laughs> chameleon crawls. <laughs> Chameleons are hard. Which one's that? I don't know that one. Oh, Lord, I've, I've got a video. I've done. Oh, right, okay. I've got okay. a video. It's, it's hard, though. So you almost have to, you go down and you have to spring up from the floor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Evil, 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 evil. Yeah. Yeah, fun. But fun. Crazy, crazy, crazy. So, and yeah. as well, guys, you know, it, it is a case that, you know, we're not we're not totally restricted to our house. We can still get out and about. So, you know, do maybe get down to your local park that has some equipment there as well. You know, yeah. definitely. Yeah. I was down this morning to the local park. They have a pull-up station. So I just thought I'll, I'll see what I can do. I did too. <laughs> it didn't happen because not on video. Oh right! <laughs> it's like that then, is it? Right. Yeah. That's, that's my I didn't rule. try and take a selfie while hanging on. Yeah. Check me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Look, me in one arm and everything. <laughs> hanging on for dear life. <laughs> awesome, awesome. So, yeah. Yeah. Even people ten tips now, haven't we? We've oh quit. yeah, but awesome. to think we were going to do three. <laughs> Yeah, you've got to give people the value, right? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So, so guys, you know, we really, um, hope that does give you enough information just to keep yourselves going. Um, 
Well, you've got a free plan, haven't you? So why don't you, if you send me the link over and I can put it in the show notes and stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So I do have a two week plan. Um, that's just a part of my group programs that I can do um, that I can send you out. So I've got a nice little PDF document for anyone um, just to work through the plan. And they yeah, can do my, that. My lot will be, if, if it goes to lockdown, if it ever goes to lockdown, I've also got some tasty workouts. Yeah. For them, really, really. Well, fact, let's do live workouts. Well, I, I always had have them in there because I know as much as, you know, people want to do the gym workouts, but they like to have them as a backup just in case yeah. they can't get to the gym or something else has happened or they've got to go away all of a sudden, you know, that they want to feel Hotels, like it's stuff. just keeping, keeping the routine, isn't it, of being able to yeah. just work out. Even if it's not part of the actual plan, at least it's a workout and you've done something. So definitely definitely yeah awesome so. cool all right okay everyone good people yeah do all those things we just told you to do <laughs> coronavirus would be nothing keep your games keep your games till next time everyone take care take care see you later yeah